Hey guys, it's that Dividend Guy coming at you with the Robinhood Portfolio Update. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully everybody's having a GGD, a great green day in the market. You know, I always wish the best for my viewers and subscribers. So today, we're going to go over the overall portfolio performance, the buying power, the individual stocks, and how we compare to Berkshire, the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, and the S&P 500. So, starting off today, we are up over $100 at 0.25%. For the week, we are up $916, up 2.25%. The one-month mark, we're up over $1,800, up 4.7%. The three-month mark, we're up $1,300, up 3.31%. For the year, we're up over ten grand, up 32%. And then all-time, we are up $10,000, up 32.6%. Since April 13th of 2018. Buying power is at $58. That will be going up when we get paid dividends. Jumping right in, we've got Realty Income. 125 shares, $9,200 worth of market value. Average cost is right around $67 a share. 22% of the portfolio is in Realty Income. Today, we're up $41. Total, we're up over $900, up 10.8% on Realty Income. Then we've got Altria. 175 shares, $8,400 worth of market value. Average cost is right around $48 a share. 20% of the portfolio is in Altria. Today we're up 30, around $36. Total we're up 56, up 0.67% on Altria. Then we've got Philip Morris. 37 shares, $3,500 worth of market value. Average cost is $97. 8.54% of the portfolio is in Philip Morris. Today we're down $23. Total, we're down $39, down 1.1%. Then we've got Allstate. Two shares, $257 of market value. Average cost is right around $127 a share. 0.62% of the portfolio is in Allstate. Today we're down $0.62. Cents. Total, we're up $3.02, sorry, $3 up 1.1% on Allstate. Then we've got Abvi, 75 shares, $8,100 worth of market value. Average cost is $81.20. Right around 20% of the portfolio is in Abvi. Today we're up $26. Total, we're up over two grand, up 34% on Abvi with a $97 dividend coming in on the 15th of November. Then we've got Procter & Gamble, one of my favorite stocks. We have two shares, $285 worth of market value. Average cost is $141.58. 0.7% of the portfolio is in Procter & Gamble. Today we're up $422. Total, we're up $2.77. We've got a dividend coming in on the 15th of $1.74. Then we've got Clorox. We've got two shares. $322 worth of market value. Average cost is right around $167 a share. 0.8% <coughs> uh, of the portfolio is in Clorox. Today we're up $1.81. Total, we're down $10.47. So good buying opportunity still on Clorox. Then we've got Aflac, the Ducky Company. 115 shares, around $6,600 worth of market value. Average cost is right around $50 per share. 15.8% uh, of the portfolio is in Aflac. Today, we're up $30.48. Total, we're up $883, up 15.5% on Aflac. <clears throat> then we've got Prudential. We've got 40 shares, $4,500 4, $4, worth of market value. <clears throat> Average cost is $103 a share. Around 11% of the portfolio is in Prudential. Today we are up $1.60. Total we're up $423, up 10.25%. And then we've got Travelers. We've only got one share for right now. Market value is at $160 a share. $151 is our average cost. That's why we only have one share. It keeps going up. <laughs> Around 0.4% of the portfolio is in Travelers. Today we're down 74 cents. Total we're up nine dollars and 76 cents up over six almost six and a half percent on travelers so guys our total for the year we are up 32.35 percent let's take a look how we stack up against the um, the big benchmarks of the market berkshire 
<clears throat> I'm assuming it's beating us. Um, it's at 39, so it's beating us by about 6%. Uh, the NASDAQ 100, we're down by like 2%. Dow Jones, we're beating it by about 3%, or almost 5%. And then the S&P, we're only lagging by like 1.5%, so that's not too bad. Most people can't even match the overall performance of the S&P 500, so the fact that we're close, I'll take it. So guys, we're doing really well. Um, our goal for the year was $40,000 and 600 subscribers. So um, make sure since we hit our money goal, we hit our subscriber goal as well. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button on my channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Robinhood portfolio update. Take care, guys.